Welcome to another video. Let's do this one. It's an integration. It's from the MIT Integration B. I think it's this year, 2023. And this question, remember that the MIT questions require you to solve them within three or four minutes, I think. Okay, so just imagine a question like this and you're supposed to answer this in three or four minutes. Well, you better know what to do to get to your answer within that time um, allotted. And looking at this, you have a lot of, you have many powers of polynomials. So it means you have to distribute this or distribute this, distribute this, and then you're gonna integrate. Any question like this will have some intrinsic trick that you need to, or some observation you can make and you say, oh, this is here, this is here, maybe I can do something. So that's the idea behind many of these questions. They are not absolutely difficult to solve all the time. Some of them are insanely hard to solve, but some of them will be time consuming unless you know what to do. So for this question, you have to know what to do definitely in order to get the answer. Let's get into the video. So my first observation is, why do I have four different terms? I got this, I got this, I got this, I got this. And there's something that I keep seeing. So when I first started, I, I could notice that there's one minus x here. And I could see one minus x here if I factor out x. So I said, there's one minus x here, there's one minus x here. Okay, I don't see one minus x here, but I see x minus one, which is the negative of one minus x. So I still see one minus x here because this is difference of two squares. It's gonna be x plus one, x minus one. So I see it here, see it here, see it here, see it here. Oh, it's here, it's sitting there. And there's another one here, and there's another one here. And then I went back and I thought about it. It looks like I have three of one minus x's here. I also have three of them here. And I have three of them here. And I have three of them here. So my first focus was take as many one minus x's out of this. But sometimes it might be hard for you to see. So your next step might be, you say, oh, this is the integral of one minus x cubed plus x times one minus x cubed. See, all of this will be cubed, okay? But I'm gonna just cube them separately. Plus, this is gonna be x minus one times x plus one, but each of them will be cubed because this is cubed, so this is cubed and this is cubed. Minus, this is three times one minus x, this I can factor out to become x times 1 minus x. This I can factor out to be x minus 1 times x plus 1. But instead of writing x minus 1, I could actually write 1 minus x. But 1 minus x with a negative, and that negative can travel up here. So I'm going to write 1 minus x. And that negative one minus x is x minus one. I can use that negative to multiply this. I can go here, instead of me writing, um, where is it? This is x minus one. Okay, so x minus one is the same thing as negative one minus x cubed and the negative stays. So I can change this also, look, x minus one cubed is the same thing as negative one minus x cubed. And whenever you cube a negative number, the negative stays. So I can rewrite this as one minus x. It's cubed and the negative stays. That negative comes here and changes this sign to a negative. Now, all my one minus x's are out here. So my next line is gonna be the integral of, I'm gonna take out all of the cubes of one minus x. So watch this, this is gonna be one minus x cubed times, if I take it out from here, it's gonna be one plus, if I take it away from here, I'm gonna have x cubed minus, if I take one minus x cubed away from here, I'm gonna have um, x plus one cubed plus, 
If I take one minus X, I need three of them. So I take this, take this and take this. So what I have left will be three X times X plus one. Three X times X plus one. Let's get rid of this. So now all we have to deal with is what's inside here. Remember, you could do this so quickly just by looking. So now we have the integral of one minus X cubed multiplied by, it's gonna be one plus X cubed minus, if you expand this, your expansion has to be fast. Binomial expansion skills will have to be really rapid in this case, because if you want to expand this, this is gonna be something like this. This is gonna be X cubed plus three X squared plus three X plus one. That is the expansion of this using Pascal's triangle. That's what I just did, okay? Um, one, three, three, one, and I just reduced the powers from three, two, one to zero, and that's it. Okay, now let's go to the next one. So instead of me writing this in parentheses, I could as well distribute the negative so that if I remove the parentheses immediately, it's not easy to get this off this board, okay? If I remove this, this is gonna be a minus, this is gonna be a minus, and this is gonna be a minus, okay? And then this is out. So I have all of these. Get this out. So I have this and then I jump to this one. This is going to be plus 3x squared plus 3x. This is what I am integrating. So I'm still integrating all of this dx. So what do we have? This is the integral from, of 1 minus x cubed times just looking at this, I know that one minus one will become zero. So one will take out minus one. X cubed will take out X cubed. This X cubed will take this X cubed out. Minus three X squared plus three X squared will take this out. It's getting interesting. Minus three X will take out three X. And what do I have left? It's zero dx. So this is the integral of zero dx, which is equal to zero. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.